Indiana started off the year 2-1 in the Big Ten, but have a daunting task ahead of them. The Hoosiers face three ranked opponents over the next four games, with three matches being on the road. Indiana also has to deal with some injury adversity and hope that other members of the team step up and fill the void. Coming off an inspired road win against Ohio State, Indiana welcomes in number six Minnesota to begin a tough stretch against the Gophers, Spartans, Wolverines, and Cornhuskers. Hey, if you didn't come here for big time matches, it's on now. After trailing 23-13 in set one, Indiana battled back to make it a two point deficit, but still fell short. We play our way, we're in a good spot. We don't start on time, we don't talk, we don't play with energy. You got a building that's desperate for you guys to play hard. All right, match it, here we go. Indiana found themselves trailing in set two to Minnesota before things got even worse. Their star outside hitter, Kendall Bierman, went down with a lower body injury. You're fine. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. During the game, Kendall went down and we all were super frazzled but for a few moments, but um, we're still in game mode and we still had to pull out a win or at least try to. So I think we all just assumed a role and we all had to play really great after that because we we're missing such a key person. So I think initially um, when it happened, we all reacted pretty well. We didn't have time to sulk or be nervous or anything because we all had to switch up positions a little bit. After losing Beerman for the match, the Hoosiers lost to the Gophers in three sets. Unfortunate that uh, Ken, um, you know, Kendall was hitting 333 and then had to leave the game in, uh, in game two with, uh, with a lower body thing going on. So um, that's a really good team. I mean, they had just swept Wisconsin. Um, Wisconsin's awfully good. I think there's a few teams in our conference that are really serious about trying to win the whole thing. Um, that's not us. We're trying to get better every match. Um, and if uh, I would have been a bit better tonight, I think the team could have been a little bit better. So that's uh, that. The Hoosiers now hit the road for three straight matches as a trip to East Lansing to face Michigan State is first up on the slate. In their first match without Bierman, Indiana showed great fight and battled all the way to a fifth set against the Spartans. Unfortunately for the Hoosiers, they ultimately fell a little short of the road win. A quick turnaround had the Hoosiers in Ann Arbor 24 hours later to battle number 16, Michigan. Okay, when we're on the bus at the end of the night, let's feel a little bit better about how hard we play. Yep. All right, here we go. Just like the night before, Indiana was able to stay competitive against the Wolverines and push a fifth set. Tonight's a victory regardless because we battled. Now you got to just let it go, all right? What you don't want to do is look back and be, man, I should have gone for it. Unfortunately for IU, they couldn't pull out the upset for the second straight night as Michigan escaped with a 3-2 victory. Well, I didn't think we had a great week of practice. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think sometimes karma is real. So if you don't prepare the right way, I think sometimes you have opportunities to win. But, uh, you know, we didn't quite get it done. So I can look at the positive and say, hey, we're in close matches and we played hard on the road. But at the end of the day, there's not a lot of moral victories. You want to win and you have opportunities to win and you got to find a way to close out matches. And uh, that's what we had opportunities to do. We had a swing tonight to win. Uh, you know, missed a serve late yesterday. And, and we're, we had windows. Uh, we had windows where we had opportunities to win Big Ten matches. And that's a hard thing to do. To end the tough road swing, IU hit the road to Lincoln, Nebraska to face the reigning national champion Cornhuskers in front of a sold-out arena. Another day, another sellout in Lincoln, Nebraska as the defending national champion Nebraska Cornhuskers look to defend home court against the Indiana Hoosiers. If you got an opportunity to play on this stage, you came to a school like this to play in big-time moments and big-time matches, so just leave it on the court. I don't care if we win or lose, I'm just ready for the brawl. That's point number two for the Huskers. Weston Hoffer to Huber's in the middle. And now Haynes back to Sun and it's blocked again. I'll tell you what, Cameron Malloy's made an impact tonight. Four kills, five digs. Lexi Sun into the block. Another set point for Nebraska. Locked it on the slide. Maloney there. Haynes back set sweet. Set two to Nebraska. They withstand. Point number two, Haynes to Sun. Big swing. To the back corner, and that will do it. I don't look at it like, oh, we're knocking. 
and we're close and we're almost there. I look at it like, look at how far we've come that we're there and we're in matches. You know, the Illinois match, the Michigan match, the Michigan State match, you know, all of those matches can come out either way. You know, sometimes it's luck, sometimes the other team plays great, sometimes you make an error or two and it is what it is. Uh, I just like the fact we've been competitive and we need time. I mean, over the next few years, I think we'll be in matches and find ways to win matches and big matches, but you can't microwave that stuff. It's gonna, we've gotta be in some situations where it hurts and it's close in order for people to train the right way and uh, take it serious enough that when you get those windows, you can win.